Hey guys, my name is Ismos and welcome to Top Channel 101. Today I want to show you how to use the new Blender Pulse Brush in Scout Mode. So I have this character uh, that is not rigged. You can see there are no amateurs, nothing. Uh, and uh, I want to pause it, but I don't want to spend the time that it takes to rig the character since I just want a single frame pause uh, that I need uh, for a scene. And because of the new Pulse Brush uh, that you can find under Scout Mode, you just have to make sure that you're selecting the mesh and then go to Scout Mode. Uh, you find a new brush called the pose brush when you move your brush around your character it will try to look for joints on your character and uh, use them to pose the character the problem is it's very unpredictable and uh, very difficult to get uh, the right uh, joints so here is an easy way to define those joints for your brush uh, so we're going to use uv sims to create facets uh, that the brush would detect would use to detect where the joints are so to do that we're going to first create some uv sims but uh, since this object already has uv sims we don't want to mess those up because uh, they're being used for our texturing so what i'm going to do is add a new uv map and uh, then i can create uv scenes from that so i know that uh, there is a joint here and then use ctrl e to mark a seam there then we also need another seam around here so i'm just going to select this edge loop I think we're done. Uh, you can choose to be detailed as much as you want, but uh, this is going to be enough for me. Maybe let me add just one single seam uh, for for the feet. Next seam, like so. And now all you have to do is go under Sculpt Mode, Facets, Initialize Facets are from UV Seams. And you can see now we have those face sets. Now, after you make the face sets, all you have to do is go to the brush properties and then find rotate origins and change it from topology uh, to face sets. Now you can see I just have to move my cursor, my brush over the face sets, and uh, the brush will snap to the origin. And you can also turn on symmetry. You see. So if I hand, if I want to pause this. Can even now remember we also added some facets out of the hand so i can just uh, do that as well and because the hair is not part of the uh this mesh uh, that's why you see it's not correctly being deformed uh, by the mesh So you can see the advantages to this. That's how you can use the pause brush to create a quick pause in Blender. Thanks for watching.